it's Melissa from Chunk.ie and today we're going to, at the International Makeup Academy going to find out how to do Star Trek looks for the upcoming movie. So Anne, how are we going to do this? Okay, we're going to do three looks. We're going to do Bajoran, um, which we're going to do with some wax. So really easy to do at home, a few minutes. We're going to put it onto your nose and then we're going to put in some lines into it. Then we're going to do um, Trill. And there's loads of different ways to do that. You can either use stencils, you can do it freehand, you can use wa uh, washable markers and then we'll put some makeup on top of it. And then we'll finish off with the um, Vulcan look. So we're going to put on your nice Spock ears and we'll block out your eyebrows as well. So it's all easy to do and you'll be able to recreate it at home. So what we're using now to create your Bajoran look is we're going to use some wax and this is just soft putty wax. Um, just with wax it, it can get a little bit sticky so you can just have a little bit of water and we're just going to pop it on to the bridge of your nose kind of flatten it down. So this is just moisturized to get it flatter on her skin. Okay, so once you put the wax on, what we're then going to do is you can get a sharp edge or you could even get a little card and we're going to just take it in. And put a few. And you can decide how many marks you want to do on it. What we'll do is at the end we'll finish it in with your skin so it's even. I think what we'll do now is we're going to block out your eyebrows. So for blocking out the brows, we're going to just use a little bit of soap. So this is just regular soap. And we're just going to block out your brow. For your skin tone, which is going to be this guy. Now if you want to completely lose the hair, you can put some wax on there. Take a little bit of wax out, warm it up, and we'll do the other eyebrow. Pop on some colour now, this will be a stronger. We will go into putting on your ears. So ears, what you need is, we'll use a little bit of surgical spirits just to get rid of any excess oil from your ears. So the ears are going to stay on this side. And then this is just spirit gum. And what spirit gum does, it sticks safe to use on your face. So we're just going to put a little bit and we can just pop them on like that. Yes, yeah, so we don't even need to put spirit gum because they'll actually stay securely on. So we'll give you a nice brow. doesn't look like you anymore. Closer. Arts and hobby shops now stock all this stuff because nowadays Halloween is such a big affair that, you know, uh, it's easy to get from any arts and hobby shop. So it's, you know, not, not complicated to do either. So 
we'll do a couple of little things. So this, these are just washable markers. So you could do like, and then you can go over it heavier. Okay, so this is something that's very easy to do. You're just doing little areas. You want to make it stronger, you can then just go on top of it now with colour. And just do, you can use that with a regular art brush. You can also do things like using a brush like this, swirl it. So you're just playing around with doing little stripes. Yeah. Put it onto colour and then we can just rest that against wherever we want to do it. Would you do a lot of transformations like this with the students? Yeah, this is something that we do. We train the guides to do. So it's showing them tips and tricks how to do things. You know, there's, there's always an easy way and a hard way to do something. And there's always several ways to do things as well. Different, isn't it? Yeah. Not, not a work a day look. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Lindsay, you can rock it. <laughs> Pull it onto your head so it sits, that it feels comfortably. Because um, we'll try, maybe we will wrap a, a little thing around it. Right, so we finish it off on this side then, so you're the same. Yeah, you can even just flick the brush so it rolls around. So you just, that little technique. And you can just get all different shapes with it. And then you are, okay. <laughs> do you know what I've got um, a blonde wig in there as well do you want to try to see how it might look kind of weird but kind of good yeah. you know like a peroxide wig against the pale So the wax is easy to take off, all you have to do is scrape off the excess and then just with a baby wipe just clean off around the edge, but it doesn't cause any harm to your skin. Always when you're taking off paints on your body, if you get an oil product, so even baby oil, we'll take it off really easy, or baby wipes that have some oil in them. So. Yeah, so maybe what we'll do is we'll just even have your hair as normal, we'll, we'll spray it back, put it into a pony or something even. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll just get this a little bit sharper now so it's fixed around your... Give you back your nice pale skin now. I'm going to finish this one with mascara. We will fix up your around your eyes then, yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that? Great.
So that was three simple looks of different Star Trek aliens that you can do at home yourself. Really simple, you can get the products anywhere, arts hobby shops, makeup shops, anything. And yeah, um, also to say, check out next week, we're going to be at the